Today is a very exciting day because today we're doing a Mommy Flynn date. I told Flynn today we're doing a Mommy Flynn date. We can do whatever he wants and he said he wanted to do ice cream. So we're gonna go get ice cream, let's go. chocolate girly, but it's craving mint chip today. Okay, so we went to the store and Flynn found this little blue octopus that he really wanted. In the store they had a few little like wooden signs with like writing on them like, my day doesn't start till one o'clock, you know, stuff like that. But one in the front says, be brave, just what Flynn always says to me. <laughs> and I want to get a tattoo of it in Flynn's handwriting. Even though it's like printed on, and it's literally worth probably 0.2 cents. <laughs> and I probably paid like $5 for it or something. I had to get it, I had to get it. What are the odds that on a Flynn mommy date, the one store you choose to go into has a little tiny sign that says, be brave. On it. <laughs> what are the chances? In case you get scared sometimes, I'll give you this sign so you always remember to be brave. Okay. I can give it to you when you're feeling scared too. We can give it back and forth to each other. Okay, we are home from our little adventure, and now it's time for Colleen's Crystals. Flynn's gonna help me. I have a few different rock tumblers to switch out, so if you're not interested in hearing me talk about rocks, you should fast forward. Whenever I say, welcome to Colleen's Crystals, it reminds me of, I used to watch Veggie Tales as a kid, and there used to be a part where I'd go, welcome to Silly Songs with Larry. The part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a silly song. And I don't know why, but I always think about that. Did anyone else watch Veggie Tales? Water Buffalo, a Where's My Hairbrush? Anyone out there? Anyone? No? Okay. On your mark. That's it, go. This is what we're working with here. These are beautiful backyard rocks. No, front yard. Front yard and backyard rocks. What do you think, Flynn? Do you think they look cool? I think they're cool. Normally, I would go through and pick out the rocks that I think are ready for the next stage and the rocks that are definitely not and separate them. But for this batch of rocks, I'm just gonna put them all into stage two all at the same time. So, this should be interesting. I wonder if any of these will even polish. Oh my gosh, it's so weird to like put a rock like this, it's all like rough, to put that into stage two is terrifying to me, but I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna do it. This is what we're working with here. And oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with this one. I don't know if it's in focus. I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't see, but. Oh my, there's crystals everywhere. Oh my, that's a beautiful one, Flynn. These are awesome. I'm so excited about this one. Well, my rock content was short because Flynn and I have been playing. So Flynn's building a bridge right now, huh Flynn? Done. What? <laughs> you finished it so fast. Let me see. Whoa, check it out. This is a cool bridge. It's not finished on that. Oh, I mean, you literally just said it was finished. <laughs> you know what I really wanted to do today, Flynn? I saw a recipe online for peanut butter cookies. It's only three ingredients. And I really want to try to make it. Do you want to eat cookies or no? No. Are you not my what? child? Cookies? Did yeah. my own flesh and blood just say he did not want cookies? <laughs> This is the saddest day of my life. I want cookies. I know you want cookies, but you probably just, you'd rather play right now than make cookies, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, we'll play. I'll make cookies later. Okay, everyone, it's much later. I did not film very much today, but I took the little ones to a class tonight and that was super fun. I'm getting ready for bedtime. Maisie's doing Jojo Siwa tonight. Wesley's doing Crushing It With Dad Monster Truck. Maisie's pants are, of course, Jojo and Bobo. And Wesley's are Monster Trucks. And Flynn's got this cute little cactus colorful moment. So it's a kid's PJs for the evening. I have some very exciting vault footage for you guys today. I don't know if I've shown this to you guys at some point in the last 15 years of being on the internet, but this weekend, Eric and I took a road trip to go see the big football championship game. And I kind of packed frantically and 
threw a bunch of SD cards and like all my technology stuff in my backpack, but didn't pay too much attention to what I was putting in there. And so then I went to edit the vlog, I put in the wrong SD card and it was an SD card full of footage from like when I was a baby. So you wanna talk about vault footage. I mean, that is a vault. That is a long time ago. So I was thinking about maybe showing you guys some of that footage tonight because I don't know that I filmed very much today and I really wanna go through that footage and see what the heck it is. So I might put little bits of it in the end of this video because I don't know that I'm gonna film much more today. Although I really did wanna try to make that peanut butter recipe that's only three ingredients, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get around to that because I have to work on the podcast. A new podcast episode comes out tomorrow or today when you're watching this, there should be a new podcast episode up. Anyway, I have a lot of stuff to do tonight, so I don't know that I'm gonna be able to vlog much more, but I really do wanna look through that old footage of me when I was little. Next time you see me, I might be a baby. And I don't mean a crybaby, although that's probably true as well. Next time you see me, I'll probably be a crybaby because I'm always a crybaby, but I'll be a literal baby if you see me again in this vlog because I don't know that I'm going to vlog again. So let's go back in time to when I was just a wee little tot. Enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, I know that I told you that the next time you'd see me, I'd be a little baby, but I am not, I am adult me. Because I feel like some of these clips need some explanations. I just watched through a bunch of the footage and there's a few little clips I wanna share with you guys from when I was a little tot. But I realized I haven't done tortilla talk in a long time. I'm not doing a tortilla talk really right now. I mean, it's kind of a tortilla talk. It's a little tortilla talk because I'm gonna answer a couple of questions or just read a couple of comments. But I wanted to say, please leave comments for tortilla talk because I was just sitting and reading through a bunch of comments and I haven't done that in a minute and it was making me so happy. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who commented on my last vlog about going to the Lions game with Eric and just reading everyone's like support for the lions and for Eric and I don't know it was just like I loved reading all your stories and stuff so I wanted to read a couple of them before I show you some clips from my childhood. One person said USA has so many weird snacks lol and I am just shocked because in my last vlog I did show a couple of weird snacks but like that is nothing compared to the weird snacks that we have here so I was thinking about maybe doing a video where I just go to the store and show you a bunch of the weird snacks and buy them and taste them for you because there's a lot of weird snacks here. Anyway Sydney said I really want to go to Gemstone Beach in New Zealand. I live in New Zealand, but I'm in the North Island and can't afford to go to the South Island. But if you're ever in New Zealand, you have to go. It's near Invergargle. Sorry, I know I said that wrong. In the South Island and it's called Gemstone Beach. Okay, I am curious. I need to know what this is. I highly doubt I'll ever be in New Zealand again. I would love to go to New Zealand. I loved it so much the last time I went. Um, But let's see what this Gemstone Beach is in New Zealand. Oh my God. Oh, it's amazing. Look at that. Look at all those rocks. I would love it there. I hope that you get to go someday. That looks like a dream come true. I really appreciated this next comment because in my last vlog, I was showing the snacks that I was going to eat on the road trip. And I said, I love knowing people's road trip snacks. I don't know why this is very interesting to me to find out what people's like go-to road trip snacks are. And Jess, told me in the comments. As far as I could tell, she was the only person who told me her road trip snacks. So if you want to tell me in the comments below, I'd love to know. But she said, my road trip snacks are Slim Jims. Wow. I don't know that I've ever met someone who actually like truly enjoys Slim Jims. So I love that for you. Funyuns, again, not my go-to, but I love that for you. Nacho cheese bugles. I didn't even know those existed. Sweet tart ropes. That is amazing. A Reese's peanut butter cup, a Slurpee from 7-Eleven, or a slushie from Speedway, and of course, water to feel healthy. And that made me laugh one, because I just, I loved hearing what you like on your road trip, but also, I always do that. I'll get like a Coke and like a coffee or like a mocha type of thing that I definitely won't even drink, but I always get a water bottle for like health reasons, even though I'm getting like Butterfingers and Mounds and chips and like all this stuff, and I always get a Coke, and then I'll also get like a water because I'm like a healthy girly, you know, but I don't even drink the water. I just find it in the car. I'm later unopened. Anyway, thank you for telling me your favorite snacks. But there were so many lovely, heartwarming, sweet comments about just me going to the football game with Eric and everyone's feelings about the game and opinions and all the stuff. And just, I don't know, I just really loved reading the comments. So thank you so much. Um, I'm going to show you some clips from my childhood now. The first thing you're going to see is just a few random clips of me at Easter when I was one and a half. I'm showing this to you guys because I'm curious if any of you think that I look like my kids because people all the time will be like, oh my gosh, Macy looks like you. Oh my gosh, Wesley looks like you. And like, I literally think they look nothing like me. Like nothing about them looks like me at all. So I want to show you a little bit of footage from me on Easter when I was one and a half and then on my second birthday. So I'm literally the age of the twins and you can see how I don't look like my children. <laughs> I mean, maybe at the second birthday party a little bit 
it, I can see Wesley. Like sometimes my facial expressions and like my low kind of hanging cheeks and the shape of my mouth and the shape of my eyes, sometimes a little bit, I feel like look like Wesley. But I do not see Maisie even a little bit. Like I don't see Flynn even a little bit. Like I think my kids like do my facial expressions a lot and they have a lot of my personality, but like they definitely do not look like me. So also throughout all the footage I'm about to show you, please take note of how I am dressed and how I choose to dress because I was always frills and dresses and skirts and floaty like princessy dresses. That was so my vibes. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> can tell me if you think I look anything like my children because I think that just proves that my kids only look like my husband which I'm happy about because I love the way my husband looks I think he's the cutest in the world and I think my kids are the cutest in the world so I'm very grateful they don't look like me but anyway you saw how I was dressed like Philly princess and you might think like oh it was Easter and it was her birthday so of course she's dressed like that no like I literally dress like this for the first part of my little childhood like there's you're gonna see some footage of me in a second wearing like this long like princess gown that is something I wore on the regular like this was like one of my favorite things to wear anyway the next little few clips I'm going to sh share with you are clips of me and my little sister Rachel when she was a baby. So I'm about five here and I wanted to share some of this stuff because one, I think it's funny and cute footage of me and Rachel together, but also I am Flynn's age here. So now you can see if you think I look anything like Flynn, which I definitely don't. This is one of my favorite home videos in existence because I wanted to eat a tortilla randomly and I was calling it a tortillo, but like speaking with an accent, I'm literally five. Rachel and I quote these clips that I'm about to show you all the time. Like we're always quoting the things that I say in these next upcoming clips. So enjoy. I love you, my best There you go. That's I want a tortillo, and Rachel and I call it tortillos always. But anyway, the next and final little few seconds of clips I'm going to share with you are me and my brother Christopher dancing around in the living room to a song called Late Last Night When You Were Asleep. And it's a song we listen to all the time when we were little kids. And it's basically the song that's like singing about if you, um, when you go to sleep, someone put ballet shoes on your feet and then ballet music starts and you have to dance like a ballerina and then late last night we were asleep someone put moon boots on your feet and then you have to walk like you're on the moon late last night someone put motorcycle boots on your feet now you're driving a motorcycle so like every time fancy music plays you have to dance like whatever shoes got put on your feet while you were sleeping anyway it was a song i really loved way back in the day when i was a little girl and i recently started playing this song for the twins and they love it and so it was wild to see that footage of me at flynn's age dancing this song that like i've put on so many times for my kids to dance to in the last few weeks. So that's what I'm going to end on today. But thanks for watching everybody and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Last night,